I just received the Soda Beam's 32 foot mast. It comes in this bag like this. I don't really need these bags. I don't know why, you know, I don't really need the bag. But I just want to show you how small this is. Um, trout, it's a travel mast. I paid 100% for this. And then the dump truck comes by. Let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. So what we got is the smallest piece here. It's about like the smallest piece. I would say it's it's sturdier than the MFJ. The MFJ is a lot flimsier at its smallest piece. Something like that. And in a very tiny let's take a look at you can kinda if you want to know how flexy it is. It's flexy, but not nearly as much as the uh, plexiglass, uh, the fiberglass MFJ. You see? And like I said, I probably won't be using that. I'll probably start at the second one right here and use this one. It's a lot more stable than the first smallest. It comes with basic instructions. Uh, it says don't do this on a windy day, so I picked the windiest day of the year. And here we are. <laughs> Alright, I'm not going to go all the way up, I think. What I am going to do... I saw somebody talking about doing this. I'm going to put a little bit of tape... ...on this. Keep it from collapsing. The instructions say to keep this very, very clean. Don't let any sand and dirt get into it because it's it's so close together you don't want any grit and grime. My neighbors think I'm crazy. I'm going to twist it in place and add just a little bit of tape. This tape is not very sticky. It's kind of like painter's tape. It could should come off pretty easily. It's not super sticky or like duct tape or anything. So far, so good. Cannot believe how small this is when compact. Just enough to keep it from sliding down. I've had one of these collapse on me before. The whole thing went doo -doo 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 all the way down and you do not want that. That was the MFJ one. You know, I'm at pretty high right now as it is. I could stop right now and be okay. Okay, so I didn't go all the way, of course. But you can see how high I am already. And on a windy day, this thing, this whole setup is pretty stable. You can kind of see how much more I have left. I have a lot more that I could go into. You see in there? But I don't need to. I'm satisfied. Probably about 25 feet. distance not even close to where it can get that's high enough for today yeah this is what you get on a windy day it's gonna rock a lot I don't like that probably wouldn't use this on a windy day like this but I'm gonna bring it right back down Ever lay your tape in the dirt? 
Alright. Never jump into a pile of leaves with a wet sucker. Don't we all know that? Alright, like I said, this tape is not real sticky, so it comes off real easy. You wouldn't want real sticky tape for this. So, Thanksgiving is this weekend, and I got this just in time to take it with me on my trip. Throw it in the bag, and I've got myself a easy to put up mask while traveling. The only thing is, the weather's gonna be really bad there in the Chicago area, so. Uh, too much tape. I think. I'm going to put some something soft in the bottom so when it drops it doesn't bounce. Right now it's got, I don't think there's anything that's soft in the bottom. And in the top, I'm going to jam some foam in there, keep it from shaking around. And guys, this is a Soda Beams Travel Mast. <laughs> 